counting money. We're going to be counting sets of like coins and bills. For this video, I'm going to be using the Money Pieces app, which you can find on your app store, or um, you can find the web version on mathlearningcenter.org. The first thing I would like you to do is to grab a dime. Now, what is the value of one dime? It's 10 cents. Now, what is the value of two dimes? 20 cents. Now, how do you know that the value of two dimes is 20 cents? Like, what strategies did you use? Did you count by ones? If we switch this over, count each individual square, going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20? Did you skip count by tens and just say 10, 20? Did you add them and do 10 plus 10 to equal 20? Any of those work. There are some that are a little bit more efficient than others. Um, what if I add another dime? What's well, now the value of these three dimes? 30 cents. What if I added an additional, an additional one? What's the value of four dimes? How do you know? Yeah, now I'm just gonna put a few more out. I'm going to give you a moment. What is the value of this set of dimes? I see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dimes. I want you to think about what you did to solve it. And eight dimes together would equal 80 cents. And remember that we put that cent symbol after the numbers. So we have 80 cents represented in this set. Let's start a new one. And again, as we're going through, I want you to really think about um, how it is that you are adding the numbers together. Okay. This time, grab two pennies. Now, what is the value of one penny? One cent. What is the value of two pennies? Two cents. Now, how did you determine that the value of two pennies is two cents? What strategy did you use? Counting by ones, addition, doing one plus one equals two. What about if we add another penny? Now there are three coins, each one having the value of one cent. So the three together equals three cents. Let's add a few more. And then again, I want you to think about how it is that you are adding this set of coins together. How many pennies? And then what's the total value of this set of coins? And you can count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To get twelve cents. Maybe you thought about it those rows and see, oh, there's four here, there's four here, and four here. If I add those all together, it would be twelve. Or maybe you thought about the columns and thought, oh, there's three here, three here, three here, and three here. And if I add up each of those, that would be 12. Okay, let's try another one so you can put those pennies away. First, just grab one nickel. How much is a nickel worth? Five cents. Well, what would be the value if I had two nickels? Ten cents. Again, what strategy are you using? Are you counting by ones? Are you counting the value of each one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or are you thinking, oh, each one is worth five, so maybe adding five plus five to equal ten? Are you skip counting by fives and doing five, ten? Either way works. Um, use the best strategy that uh, works for you. I'm going to put out a few. Now what is the value of this set of nickels? I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. Now, is it worth seven cents? No, because we know that one is worth five cents. If we could skip count by five, we could say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 cents. Various addition uh, various strategies are possible to add those up. 
um, but skip counting by fives would be an easy way to do that. All right, again, starting over this time, we're going to be grabbing some quarters. So again, what is the value of one quarter? 25 cents. What about if I grab two quarters? I'm gonna show this with the grid as a reminder. Okay, with the quarter, you can see that there are five rows of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Remember that a quarter is a quarter of a dollar. It is worth 25 cents. So if I have two of them, it is worth 50 cents. If I get another one, so again, 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75 cents. If I add one more, 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25, that equals $1 or 100 cents. Um, now let's try it with some dollar bills. What is the value of $1? It's one dollar or 100 cents. Now if I have two one dollar bills, what's the value now? Two dollars. I add a few more. What is the value of this set? You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six one dollar bills, which is six dollars. Let's try with some other bills. Here we have um, several $5 bills. So we can skip count by fives, which would probably be the most effective. So there are six $5 bills here. So let's count by fives. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There are $30 right here. Okay, here's another one. We have nine $10 bills. So it would be great if we skip count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So this set of $10 bills equals $90. Here we have a set of $20 bills. There are four of them. So if we skip count by 20, we can figure out how many there are. So 20, 40, 60, 80. There's $80 shown here. 